my name is Ty Morgan Humphrey. I am a yoga teacher, a traveling yoga teacher, currently in the Bahamas teaching an arm balance workshop based off the discovery of your potential so that we can find out what we can take off the mat into our daily lives. This workshop is a charity going to an organization, Cos uh, Cosmosis Yoga Suite and Global Hub. I wanted to make sure I got that right. It's going toward the, towards their Youth Yoga apprenticeship, apprenticeship Program. So all proceeds of this will go to them either getting books, mats, a field trip, whatever it may need. We have about 10 people here. So we were able to gain about $500 for this program. And that's really what we take into the world is giving back as much as possible. And if I can see you in the world, you can take my practice. I can offer you guidance in that way. Thank you very much. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, come down. Draw the toes. Spread the toes more here. Inhale, pull in, move on, and lift the hips. Exhale, draw the tail 100. Good. Press the arms out. Let the knees separate slightly. Keep pressing through those toes, spreading the toes strongly. Press the triceps down to the knees. Press the knees back to the triceps. Inhale, pull up the pelvic floor. Exhale, draw the belly in and up. Keep this position. Grip the hands right here. Shoulders back and press the hands away from you. That's how we're going to find the support in our pass and our crane. Inhale, lift the hips. Mula Banda. Place the hands down. Grip the ground. Exhale, draw an Uddiyana Banda. Maybe lift one leg. Maybe lift them both. This is your first arm balance for today. Yes. Breathing the hands very strongly. Press that index knuckle down into the ground. Don't let that pop up. Don't lose that line of energy. We do that, the body will collapse. If we press down, turn those items of the arms forward, we have support. At the end of the next breath, you can jump back into Chaturanga. Very good, Fred. very good. Right, excellent, excellent. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart. And exhale, send your body back downward facing dog. And remember your intention that you set for your practice. In the beginning of practice, you set an intention. A moment, a point of focus. Be with that moment. Place the hands back. Inhale, open the heart. You're going to the back leg. Step forward to the last. Good. Bring the hands to the heart center. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, draw the belly in up. Root the tail one under more. Use those arms. Spread the toes. Spread the hands, grip the hands into each other and create more structure towards that mid back. Hands up, draw the belly in, up, tail one roots under. Place the hands down. Lift the hips up. Good. Exhale, draw the belly in, in, up, come to the top of the toes. Inhale, come into your vakasa, drawing in Mula Bandha. Take two to three breaths and then send your body back into Chaturanga once again. So Vakasana can kind of lead to a lot more. You see how all the knuckles are up here? That's what we're, that's what we're looking to avoid. So press those knuckles down and squeeze in. These parts of the hands pop up. So that when we inhale, we lift up the pelvic floor and then draw in Mula Bandha or Uddiyana Bandha. We have all that extra structure. All those knuckles are pressing down. Okay? What about the feeling like my skin's gonna rip off? Your skin's gonna rip off of what? My body. <laughs> Which part of your body? <laughs> I mean like Is I it like the spine's gonna pop no, out of your like back? Here, it's like okay. that feeling. So press the knees back like in. So what we're looking to do is stack. Okay? Stack everything up. So if you need to bend the elbows a little, when you come over, the knees will rest right on there. I'm using absolutely no left. You set the trust to lift your hips. And draw in that mula bandha, and then you'll rest. Yeah, yeah. Does it feel like they're gonna rip off? No. Draw in, Good. Round that spine. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round the spine. Knee to the forehead. Connect knee to the forehead. Stay here. Inhale, fully here. Lift the hips a little higher. Pull in that mula bandha. Exhale, draw the belly in. Up, full Uddiyana bandha. Now, the emptiness of that breath, please put down between the hands. Move both hands to the inside of that foot. Good. Inhale, we open the heart, pull up the pelvic floor, 
Exhale, we back away. Inhale, we come forward, lifting. Exhale, we round and come away from it. Inhale, we come forward and up. Exhale, we press away. Strong hands, strong feet. Inhale, forward.
This time, inhale and lengthen. Exhale, send that leg forward and out. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, spread the toes even more. Hug the knees towards each other. You don't have to come off the hands, but you can even try that out see what that feels like. By pulling up Ula Banda, pulling up the pelvic floor, exhale and drawing in Uya Banda, you can get more security, more support in your body. Good. Place the hands down. Inhale, reach back, and you know where we're going now. Come forward. Try to run but coming forward, place that leg over, spread the toes, keep the shoulders aligned towards the front. Look forward, look forward, look forward. Yes. And keep the shoulders aligned towards the front. Breathe. And that back foot doesn't have to come off the ground at all. You can keep that back foot on the ground and keep aligning towards the front. So Erica, go ahead and put that back foot down. And now when you hug these shoulders together, or hug the shoulders in alignment, you can find that space. Now spread the toes fully in both directions. You have a little more security there, right? <laughs> Relax, send your body back. Again, again, chaturanga, child's pose, when you need it or if you need it. Probably do. <laughs> Come on all the way up to um, your downward facing dog, actually. And me and Jacqueline, we're gonna be over here. Come on over. And you're gonna place your wrist on top of my wrist like this. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to be like this, and she's going to kick up into a handstand, okay? When she does, we're going to interlock this side. So we're going to make a little um, bridge for her to move through, and whenever she tips one side, we're going to move through it. Now, as the supporting person, if you see them swaying in, a, in any way, allow, tell them, get in that direction of inhale and lift your pelvic floor. You'll feel them extend out, okay? Exhale, draw the belly in and up, okay? Strong hands. Hug the legs together strongly, okay? All right, now we're facing dog. We're gonna catch it right behind the knees, yep. Come on up, good. And we're gonna lock here, put your hand on top of mine, good. And we have this one. Straighten the legs, arms fully, arms fully. Inhale, pull up the pelvic floor, straighten those arms, breathe. Full breaths, you can look down at the hands, look down at the hands, lengthen. Good. Flex through the heels. And what we're going to do is whenever she needs to come down, if she even says come down, we're going to release the outside hands. These right here. Release, release. And we let her down. Okay? So we're going to play with that. We're all. So groups of three. We have nine, right? Groups of three. Get together. Each person works individually on the ground. The other two are supporting the downward dog. Remember, you guys have the arms together here. As soon as she kicks up, you interlock there. So you're one wrist on top of the other. Like this. Yes. You get close enough to her hips because you're going to be able to catch her right there. So don't get so close that she can't actually come all the way up. So back off just a little bit. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. That's it. When she's very tight, you can push yourself harder too. We'll catch it. Lower down one leg at a time. Use your strong hands. See those hands? Very good. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Close your legs together, Brianna. All the way. Squeeze your legs together. And lift your legs up. Press through the hands fully. Inhale, pull up the pelvic floor. <laughs> Bring those legs all the way up. Help her up with those. Yes. Yes. Squeeze the hands into the ground. Even more, bring her up a little bit more. Yeah? I know, release, release. You're going to bring them down one leg at a time when they release you, okay? Release your hands. Yeah, I have. Yeah? I know, right? Yeah. Trust each other. Trust each other. You have the support of all three of you. No one's going to get hurt. You will not fall on your face. Yeah, it's more important. Yeah, you can do it against the wall. Do their case. Craig has a very strong practice to begin with. So when he comes up, yeah, you'll be able to catch him right there. Yeah, we got you. So he's strong, and then you can just play. Inhale, lift the pelvic floor. Yes. So much better. Exhale, draw the shoulders back. Very, very strong. That's so much better. You're gripping the hands strongly. You're fully pressed out. Lift that pelvic floor again. 
and then draw the belly in and up. Hug those feet together. Straighten them out all the way. Lengthen, press into me. Fully, press into me more. More, more. That's it. That's it. Well, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. You're like not even using us. These knuckles right here, press them down so strong, and then grip back. So don't, don't stand up yet, just right from right here, just squeeze back. And now these won't lift. As long as you keep these down, you keep hugging back and hugging all the way around, you create that full structure, that full support system for yourself, okay? So hold right there and see what happens. Good, now one toe points all the way into the wall and then the knee comes all the way into the chest. Yeah, and then knuckles still popping up, right? It's a fear factor. That's a that's a that's a mental thing. Where when we get scared um, upside down, we go, you know, it's it's like doing this upside down, right? Yeah. So when you take a breath, you want to push that right away and press the feet away. You want to have those two opposings and then coming straight to the heart, right? Draw that belly up and back. Okay. So asana practices teaches us a lot about the fears that we have in general. We can learn about, a lot about how to conquer that with our breath. Take a break. You don't have to grab your mat if you're comfortable with touching the ground. But let's go to the wall. So what we're going to do, I'll have everybody gather around once you get your spots at the wall. Kate and Bria, you guys ready? Tony? Everybody come on by. So we'll be on all fours. We place one foot right at the hip level and we press in. Okay? We're gripping the ground strongly, we're pressing through. Inhale, pulling up the pelvic floor. Exhale, draw the belly in and up and bring one leg up. Inhale, exhale. Keep drawing the belly to the back of the spine, gripping the hands strongly. I'm not here, right? Strong grip. Strong breath. Yep. Good. Try and press that up. Now you want to straighten the legs out and lift the hips higher. Michael, yes. Yes, like that, like that. And that's going to open up your shoulders. You got a lot of tightness in the shoulders. You're really strong, right? All that muscle needs to be able to lengthen it. Good, now press your legs into the wall, Laura. Press, straighten the legs out. Press the legs, no, 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 right there. Press them to the wall. Yes. Grip the ground strongly. Intention, focus, breath, fonda, fully interrelated. And then when you're ready, you can lift one leg up. Erica, come on back down and move your hands closer towards the wall. Yes, you want to be at 90 degrees. Bring us in, come on back down. Move your hands just about another hand space back. Better, Jacqueline. Very strong, very strong. Now press up to that heel. Yes, yes, lengthen your body up out of itself. Yes. And you're still a little hyperextended in the back, but you're supporting it very strongly with the hands, so I'm okay with you today. <laughs> How are you, Craig? How are we doing? So I want you to move your hands back about another hand space. Yeah, back towards the wall. Yeah, towards the wall. There we go. Now, bring that foot down about here. Right here, right here. Hips level. Okay. So you come back into it, you're going to press that foot in so strong in your hip flexor. You're drawing that in and back so you can have that full 90 degrees. And then you can lift up. And Lana, I want you to come down a little bit further. Come down where? Um, to bring your feet down one foot space. One foot, one more. One more. A whole foot space, not a tippy toe. Yes? <laughs> push into it. Uh, push straight into the wall from right there. That's it. That's it. Your body's fully lengthened now. Breathing. Long breath stretch. Don't lose that quality of your breath. That is your practice. Yeah. It's tough, right? Okay. If you are satisfied with that adventure, we'll move on to another. So I'm giving you a lot of variety with handstands so that you have your own. My, my job as a teacher, but more of a, just a guide and a practice, is to give you things for your own personal practice to work with. Okay? And that's what we're looking for. See what we can create here. Okay, it is by definition in Sanskrit union. It's a coming together. It's community. It's a coming together of yourself, your masculine and feminine together. Uh, the sun and the moon, all of these elements, we can meet at the center. We can all come together. 
and create a better environment, lifestyle, universe around us by our own practice that we take off of the mat into our lives. What we find, what we, what we judge ourselves with on the mat, we can start to dilute a little bit more and more until we have that open heart that we can bring into our natural life.